The slump in the world commodity prices and decisions made by the national government on the country's budget, loans taken and how money is being spent is hitting the Morobe province hard as the provincial government digs deep into its own pocket to pay for services and new infrastructure. Yesterday, the provincial government launched a 5 million kina upgrading of the Wagang Road, a vital upgrade for the planned Wagang Wharf and Lay's 5 multi-million kina tuna factories. Morobe Governor Kelly Naru, who is also the provincial finance chairman, says projects are now being paid for with internal revenue. Which, which, uh, we are using to embark on this uh, uh, major impact project which is uh, essentially going to service the new uh, uh, wharf facility uh, and also the villagers uh, living along this uh, route. The 55 million kina nationwide funding cut to health centers run by churches is also having its effects. Morobe's health services are mostly run by churches. We are doing what we can from our own internal uh, uh, churches partnership uh, program, but uh, that uh, we can only uh, stretch so far. Morobe's internal revenue is estimated at around 111 million kina for this year. But like all budget forecasts, that amount depends on how efficient the provincial administration collects its tax and if all businesses, including the small ones, pay their tax. But there is another problem that is greatly affecting internal revenue, the low supply of foreign currency in banks. As a manufacturing hub, businesses in Leh are struggling to operate and generate the kind of cash flow enjoyed in the past. Governor Nauru has already warned the province to prepare for turbulent times ahead. Bethany Hariman, National MTV News, Leh.